In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a pop up that appears when you click on a button. Okay, and also when you fill up this pop up and hit the submit button, this pop up will automatically close by itself. Okay, and let me show you from the very beginning how you can create a form like this. In order to create a form like this, you need to have two plugins on your website. Let me show you those plugins. One of this plugin is Elementor and another plugin is Elementor Pro. Elementor plugin is free while Elementor Pro is paid plugin, okay? And this form is mainly a feature of the Elementor Pro plugin which you'll need Okay, this is a paid plugin for which you need to purchase it and I'm going to provide you the uh, purchase link of Elementor Pro down in the description below. Okay, um, if you want to purchase Elementor, so I'm providing the link down in the description below. So let's get started and let me show you how you can have a pop-up like this on your website that when you click on a button, the pop-up appears and you fill it up and it closes automatically on its own okay so let me show you how so let me pause this video and set it up and show you from the very big okay so right now you're seeing this button and when i click on this button okay let me just let me reload the page again okay right now you see this button and when i click on this button so nothing happens right now okay so i removed the pop-up uh, so i've removed it so i can show you uh, right from the very beginning okay so you if you click on this button nothing happens because i already have removed this pop-up okay so very the very first thing you need to do is is you go to the this is the main dashboard so let me show you where you can uh, find and add the pop-up then you go to templates and then you go to pop-ups over here okay then over here you add a new template and it should be pop up and i'm going to name it um, pop up form okay i'm going to name it pop up form okay create, create template and uh, you'll find a lot of templates but i'd like to show you from scratch okay uh, will be there i will place the pop up form in this container so the very first thing you need to do is i need to click and add a flex book uh, okay then what i'm going to do i'm going to add a form element so the form element over here so these are uh these all are like external forms which are being added by another plugin called elementary add-ons uh, so ignore this and which this is what i'm going to add this form element is from elementary pro which i'm going to add okay so now you see these three fields over here okay uh, then maybe I can add one more. I can name this field uh, phone. Okay. And tell. Okay. Placeholder phone. Great. And I might hide the labels to make it look more clean. Okay. Add a bit spacing between the row. And field background color let me make it a bit dark okay great and over here i can just say that it to content okay great Okay, just let's just keep it this height okay and maybe custom let's try to fit in okay yeah this is good this is good height okay custom height so that there is no scroll bar kind of thing and over here overlay let's keep the overlay and also let's keep the close button over here okay let maybe let's a bit more margin to the heading okay great so the close button is uh, clearly visible Let's go to settings again and over here uh, 
pseudo advanced and over here in, under the advanced settings uh, prev uh, enable this option prevent closing on overlay so so when someone your user clicks over here outside the box form it doesn't disappear okay so just turn it on okay turn it on and prevent closing on escape key so the only way uh, to close the pop-up will be this close icon over here okay great and another setting is that you go to content and you go to actions of the submit uh, it will collect the information when someone submit and also send you the email okay so collect submissions over here this is the email it will send it to just change it uh, to your email address okay and then we i already showed you the functionality when someone submits the form pop-up will automatically close by itself okay so i need to go over here action submit submit there are two options over here collect submissions email and add you need to add another one uh, that is going to be pop-up okay and then a new option will appear pop up and under the action you need to choose close pop up so that when someone submits the pop uh, form it will automatically close the pop up okay okay great we have the pop up ready now simply publish it okay add condition entire site okay next uh, no need to do any changes over here just leave leave everything the way it is then click on next and then over here also uh, just click on save and close okay great so our okay so this is our page we need now what you need to do we need to link link the pop-up to this button over here so when i click over here you see no, nothing happens okay nothing is happening over here when i click on this button so i need to click over here and i need to click over here on the dynamic text and then i need to uh, go over under actions you need to click on pop-up and then spanner icon and click on pop-up and then uh, simply type the name of the pop-up pop-up form okay pop-up form great now simply click on update okay now you refresh the page and now uh, click on join now okay so i'll just fill in the details dot com okay and just type in something let me see if it okay you see the pop-up automatically closes okay so this is how you can easily create a uh, on click button on click pop-up okay when you click on the button the pop-up will appear and when you fill in the pop-up it will send the information to your email and also will close the pop-up okay and only way to close the pop-up is to submit the form or to click on this close icon okay so i hope you found this video useful and if you did then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you